Hello, it's Nico with food cravings from chefnico.com and today we're gonna learn how to make fresh pasta from scratch or think of this as a spaghetti tutorial. Let's get started and by that I mean with a few eggs and depending on how much pasta you're gonna be making you'll need to adjust the ingredient amounts accordingly. Next we'll add some flour of the Italian kind and for this I'm using doppio zero or double zero what that means is it's a more of a fine ground because it's been milled twice. To this we'll add some water and here's a pro tip, the more humid it is the less water you need to add and vice versa of course. If it's dry you add more. What we'll do next is add some oil and by now you already know I was on a quest for a drizzle and what this will do, although optional, is give the dough a smoother texture. What we'll do next is place the paddle attachment down and add in the salt in order to enhance the flavor of course. Next we'll lock in the mixer in place and give it a whirl. Once we've noticed the ingredients have incorporated well and the dough ball formed, we'll place it on our work surface and knead it for a few minutes or until smooth. Quick pro tip here, it's important to remember that when working with pasta dough, expect certain parts of the dough to be a bit coarse or crumbly as you go through the kneading process. The more you work the dough, the more things start coming together smoothly. Observe! Now for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to show you exactly what you go through to get that smooth sheet from start to finish. You'll notice with this part, I've been passing it through the roller a few times and what that will do is push the dough together by activating the gluten strands which will result in a firmer, chewier dough or al dente as it is known in Italian which means to the tooth or toothy. Here you'll observe the evolution process of the dough and what it really takes for it to start coming together to form a solid sheet of pasta dough. Still not sure? Well, it's a two-step process. Time of course. Time and repetition. Repetition until we are satisfied with the end result. The perfect pasta. No wonder they call this a labor of love. Maybe this will make for a very sexy Valentine's Day recipe. I mean, who wouldn't love a bowl of fresh pasta that's made by hand, with love, from their sweetheart, that not only tastes great, but looks perfect too. Before we move on to cutting the pasta, here's another quick pro tip. You may want to take a quick second to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming recipes that are quick, simple and easy to make. Now back to the recipe. Once the pasta sheets are to your desired thickness, what you'll do next is select which cutter you'll be using to shape the pasta. This time I made spaghetti. Who knows? Maybe next time I'll show you how to make spaghetti amatriciana or fettuccine alfredo. But if you've watched my recipe for spaghetti carbonara, you'll notice I used fresh pasta for that, which I made by hand. And that Chef Dico style. Now that you've learned how to make fresh pasta from scratch, you can dazzle your friends and family. Maybe, if you're like me, you're saving this for Valentine's Day, in which case, it's sure to sweep your sweetheart off their feet. I hope you've enjoyed this DIY recipe for making pasta from scratch. For ingredient amount and more info, please visit chefnico.com. Bon appetit, enjoy, and see you soon. What are your food cravings? Please leave it in the comments below.